Thank you, Madam Speaker. I oppose political violence in all forms, regardless of the politics of the target. I am no expert on Japanese anime, but I am told, and I do believe, that it is not real. What is real is the crisis on our border, the inflation crushing American families, unvetted Afghans in our country, and what is definitely real is the violence that burned our cities and harmed our businesses in the summer of 2020, often encouraged by Democrats in Congress. An anime is fiction to the point of the absurd. It's not really my thing, and it does glorify violence, but often to symbolize conflict, not realistic harm to another person. In the last session week we had, we reviewed Steve Bannon's podcast. Today, we're critiquing Paul Gosar's anime. Next week, we might be indicting the Wile E. Coyote for, uh, for an explosive ordinance against the Roadrunner. If you don't like Paul Gosar's tweets, tweet back at him. We know there are plenty of folks in big tech who will amplify your message. But the gentlelady from Pennsylvania gave the game away. This isn't really about a tweet. It's about removing a powerful conservative Paul Gosar from the Oversight Committee. And it is about characterizing conservatives as threats to the country, dangerous, because despite the majority's references to the Biden infrastructure bill, they have received no bump from it. The American people, not really into the infrastructure bill, and so we're here reviewing mean tweets. All this, all of us in Congress, I shouldn't say all of us, some of us have regretted things we've tweeted. I know I have. And when we say uncouth things, we should resolve that. Uh, Congressman Gosar removed the tweet, and I hope he regrets it, and I hope that the squad regrets tweets The gentleman's that time for has expired. An additional 30 the gentleman seconds. from Oklahoma yields the gentleman from Florida an additional minute. 30 seconds. 30. 30 seconds. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I would say I've regretted things I've tweeted. I hope that people who tweeted in support of violence in the summer of 2020 regret those tweets. I'm not sure if they do or not. But I would just suggest we have better things to do on the floor of the House of Representatives than be the hall monitors for Twitter. If we got a thousand Americans in almost any district in America together and asked what was troubling them, I don't know that we would find two in any district that would put Paul Gosar on the list of things that matters to them more than the issues that they face at their kitchen table. Gentlemen's I thank the gentleman's indulgence expired. and I yield back.